What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Reader Dwight, and I'm here to give you a tutorial on how you can use DaVinci Resolve to put together your TikToks, your Facebook Reels, and your Instagram so when you're uploading your favorite videos, they don't look like a bot made them. Let's dive in. All right, welcome in. As you can see, we have DaVinci Resolve up. Now, when you first open up DaVinci Resolve, you should see this little window pop up. Now, usually it'll allow you to create a new project from there. I've got a bunch here. I'm going to go down here to where it says new project. You're going to click that. Now you're going to give it a title. I'm just going to call this new. Call whatever you want, obviously. Press create. Now you can see we have our new project here. Now, the first step that you want to do is you want to right click, click timelines and create new timeline. Now, the reason you're going to do this is because this is going to come standard in a 19 20 by 1080 format, which is landscape, which is not a good look when you're uploading that to your TikToks because obviously TikTok is in a vertical format. So we're going to switch it up by unchecking use project settings. You can go up here to format and then you can change this to 1080 by 1920. Now that's going to give you that nice vertical look that TikTok and Facebook reels and Instagram reels have. Now, the other thing you're going to want to do is change the frames per second. If you are recording your clips in a decent frame rate, most of you probably are. And it just looks so much better if you uh, put the max that you can do here, which is 60, then you're going to press create. Okay. Now that we've pressed create, you could see that we have our timeline here. Now we need to bring in our media. This is the media pool. So we're going to go over here to your folders and you can just drag and drop these. So I know that mine is going to be next up. So I'm pulling that in and now I have my clip in here. Okay. Now, once I've got my clip, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this clip. Sorry. Make sure that you are on edit first. So down here, you can see where it says edit, make sure you're there. So we're going to drag that down. And now our clip is ready to be edited. So mine's good to go already. So you don't, I don't need to make any changes. However, if you need to make any changes, you can simply crop by using the crop tool, or you could just drag like this and that'll allow you to crop the video if you need to, and you can do it on either side. Okay, so this is gonna be a very basic tutorial because I wanna give you the essentials to upload your clips. Now, what's really important is we need to create layers because right now, even though it is in that TikTok format, we still have a landscape view. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold Alt and then click the first video and we're just gonna drag that up while holding Alt. Now we have two layers as you can see. Well, we want a third layer. So I'm going to go ahead and just bring down this audio a little bit. So we have room and then I'm going to hold alt again and I'm going to drag it up. And now we have three layers. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create our webcam layer. So you want to make sure that you are down here at crop. So this little section here, you can crop and transform. All right. So make sure that you select crop. And then now you just want to crop this down to capture your webcam. So we're just going to crop this. There we go. Looks pretty good. So now I want to move this around. So I'm going to go back to this little section here and I'm going to select transform. Now, as you can see, I can move my webcam wherever I'd like to. So what I like to do is bring it up top and I like to expand it up a little bit, make it a little bit bigger and then center it right around there. Okay. Now we need to go ahead and, and now make our main area, our main screen for our gameplay. So we're going to go to the second layer. And now we don't need to crop anything. You might if you've got some stuff that you don't want in here, but in this, I don't need to crop it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to grab the corner and I'm gonna pull this up just until my webcam is out of view because I already have my webcam here. Now that looks good. Now, we, but we do still have this black area on the top and this black area on the bottom. And you, there's a lot of people that leave it like that. I personally like it to look like the full screen is, is gameplay. So I'm gonna take this third layer and I'm gonna expand this all the way out to where there's no black showing and you can go as, as zoomed in as you want right there should be fine and i'm going to center out my webcam just a little bit more bam that looks good now one other little trick i like to add in is i like to go up here to where it says effects and then i want to go to open effects and then you, here you see some blurs now i like these blurs because it just separates the third layer from the second and just gives that main gameplay layer it makes it stand out a little bit more. So I'm going to go here to zoom blur. Oops. I threw it on the wrong area and I'm going to bring it down to the third layer because that's this area here. And as you can see, it's definitely got a different look to it. So it can stand out a little better. So if we go ahead down to the very beginning of the timeline, press space bar, 
Boom. There we go. So now you've created a clip for your TikTok. Last step, once you're happy with what you've created, you go up here to file and you could export it a number of ways. The easiest way is just go to quick export, select what you want it at. I've heard that H265 is better. It kind of depends on your PC setup. Uh, if you want, if you're not really sure, just stay with H264, press export, select where you want it to go, press save, and it will then start to render your video for, so that you could upload it to your TikTok or Facebook reels or whatever it may be. That is exactly how you do it. If you guys want more in depth tutorials on how to use DaVinci Resolve, then make sure to let me know in the comments. And please, if you did like this video, please make sure to like the video as Nick Merck says all the time, but make sure to like the video, subscribe. I'm brand new to YouTube. So every single like and every single subscription is obviously really, really important. So thank you guys so much. Let me know if you have any other questions and I'll catch you guys in the next video.